Hi friends, I'm Jeffy G. When it comes to browsing Apple content, Logic on the iPad is way better than Logic on a Mac. One of the cool features of Logic for iPad that you don't get from Logic on a Mac is the interface for managing the sound packs. Over to the left on the browser, you've got Get More Sounds. If you click on that, you get this nice representation graphically of all the sound packs, producer packs, and instrument packs that you might load onto your machine. There's session player instruments and loops, and there's essential and compatibility packs down at the bottom. And it very nicely tells you if those packs are installed or not. And on any given pack you can click on the pack if it wasn't installed you could click on install but you can also listen to the preview Unfortunately, those previews are not available on Logic for a Mac, but I like the previews, I like the description, and most importantly, down in the bottom section here, I like the content. It says that in this Pom Pom Producer Pack, you've got 200 Apple Loops, four drum machine designer kits, 13 instrument patches, 78 samples, and a live loops grid, which is like a demo grid that you could load up and play around with some of these sounds. I just find this interface is a great way to look at the content. So if I see something new, I can browse through it and get an idea of what the content is before I download it or before I go looking for those particular loops or presets for a synth. And that gives me some idea how I'm gonna use it. So let's take a look at this Modular Melodies. Kind of simple, it's a synth pack. It comes with 250 Apple loops and more than 20 Alchemy synth patches. Well, though I know Alchemy quite well and I wanna see how those patches work. So I might open up a project, open alchemy and filter through to just the modular melodies pack so the artist and producer packs uh, you're familiar with the sound packs you probably know what they contain you've got instrument packs but also session player instruments and loops so i just downloaded some of the studio bases i'm curious well what's included in there 28 bass patches and six sampled instruments. Plus, there's more than 170 Apple loops. So when I go into Logic, if I'm looking for bass specifically, I could filter my results to just the studio basses from the session player pack. Now off to the left of this interface, there's a link that says manage packs. And this gives you kind of an overview of everything. You can scroll through here and see how much space each one of these packs occupies on your iPad in this case. And you'll see some of them require updates. And if there was something that wasn't installed, a little get button would pop up. I could click on it and download that content. You'd see up at the top here, it says of all of available packs, they're going to occupy 30.76 gigabytes. And if I click on get all, it'll fill in all the missing pieces that uh, require updates. So let's take a look at say flex and flow. There's an update. I click on the update. It'll go out to the internet and download that update. So back over to our interface here, I'll look at the sound packs, click on see all, and we'll get the description of what's in flex and flow. Then there's a preview. It says there's more than 400 Apple loops, 25 Alchemy synth patches, five drum machine designer kits, and two live loop grids. So I'm back here in Logic. I click on loops. So I click on the filter icon. Should be one on this list called Flex and Flow. There it is. I choose Flex and Flow, and everything in this list then is part of that sound pack. I can preview things. There's a clap. some lush chords. Let's say I just want to focus on synth sounds. I can click on synth to further filter the results and just scroll through some of these synth sounds. Just gonna drag it over here. Just 
focus on the bass. What I'm after here is the bass instrument. I like this Nightingale bass. Maybe I'll try that. Let's hear what that sounds like. So we've covered a lot here. On the iPad, the way you browse through the sound packs and the samples and the extra content is really handy. It's informative. And if you want to try out and listen to all of that content, you can use the filter in the browser here to filter by instrument or pack or genre, all the standard ways. And I find this just a really great environment for getting familiar with all the content that Apple delivers for Logic. I'm trying to re-engage with Logic for iPad. I don't mind the subscription so much. I really like the portability of the iPad and using Logic for just coming up with creative ideas. Sure, I might still end up on Logic for Mac where I'm more comfortable and I have more experience. But as a starting point, Logic for iPad is pretty darn good. Here we are back on Logic on a Mac, and I just wanted to make sure you understood that all the Apple content that we've been looking at on the iPad is also available to the Mac. It's just the way you access it is a bit different. So clicking on the loop library, this has all the content that you've downloaded. And of course, you can search by pack uh, by clicking on the show all see a long list of all the packs that have been installed got some stuff here down at the bottom from jam packs which is how apple used to deliver some of their content uh, in the old days so you can pick a pack i'll just go with modular melodies the results here are all from that pack and you can further sort by instrument genre or descriptors and of course you can save favorites now there is a capability here to import your own loops they come in as untagged loops so you can see here i've got a bunch of loops from vendors like cymatics and big fish audio the real difference is how you manage that sound library from the main logic menu if you look under sound library you've got some options download all available sounds which is what most people are going to do and if they're missing something or something's wrong you can install the whole sound library otherwise you can open up this sound library manager and you can see it's not graphic doesn't include previews and it doesn't tell you what the content is so by expanding say sound packs we can look through here and see that it's been installed correctly if it wasn't installed there'd be a little checkbox there to install it you see there's our pom-pom producer pack things like the alchemy sound libraries drum kits all of that is organized here like i say the interface is not as fun <laughs> for browsing and previewing the sounds uh, you basically have to download everything and then go over to the loop manager within logic and select what you want to hear And if you find something you like, of course, same technique, you can drag it into your project. Just want to make you aware of one other thing, because this reminded me of it. What I dragged in there was actually a pattern region. By default, all the loop types are displayed. That would be audio loops, MIDI loops, pattern loops. And remember, we talked about the bass session player sounds. Well, it shows you everything. If you just click on one audio loops, it'll limit what you see here to just audio loops. But as you can tell by the content, some of the content is not just audio loop and there's MIDI loops, pattern regions and session player loops. If I choose just uh, the session player loops and change this to all, you'll, you'll see a, a bunch of session player loops. And if I click on bass, I'll just see the bass ones. So once again, all the same capabilities. It's just not as friendly for browsing. I think I'm going to make more videos in this series on Logic for iPad without covering a lot of the basics that you can already find out there on YouTube. If you have suggestions or you're interested in this content, let me know by putting in a comment. And if this is the kind of channel that makes sense to you, click on the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.